Hello? Hold on. I had to blow my nose. Wait, let me find some room on hand. A world without trees would take some getting used to. In some shape or form, trees are everywhere we look or reach. The forest works for us in many ways. First and foremost, we put the forest to work by harvesting it and turning it into products. What I like about wood is so much from the house that it's made of it. The yellow birch in the floor, the pine shavings in the guinea pig's cage, right down to the wood that we burn in the wood stove to keep the house warm. Wood is good. Factories slice, stretch, cook and roll wood into things we use every day. But they get their raw materials from another factory, nature. In this remarkable factory, the forest, is not just making products from trees. Some things that we don't see about how the forest works for us include the water that it produces, not only in the quality of water, making it clean and clear, but in the quantity. Forests collect water from sources like rain, fog, and rivers, filter it, and naturally redistribute it. Reliably and naturally, forests supply about two-thirds of the country's water needs. And if that wasn't vital enough, the air we breathe comes from trees. Each year, a single tree can absorb enough carbon dioxide and then produce enough oxygen for 10 people to breathe. Multiply that out times millions of trees just found on this property and then beyond that in northern Maine. Very quickly, you've got enough oxygen for tens of millions of people to breathe. More trees means more clean water and fresh air. Throw in a friendly ping pong match, a good book under a tree, and a peaceful canoe trip, and we quickly see that we should let forests do what forests do. In the St. John River Forest of Northern Maine, the Nature Conservancy is getting wood to factories in a sustainable way. Sustainable forestry is about keeping all the parts and all the pieces. My job is to find the right balance between harvesting trees for wood and people to use, and habitat for plants and animals that rely on the forest. Here on the Upper St. John, it's not just about growing trees. It's about keeping the waters clear and cold. It's about maintaining wildlife habitat. And no one thing is more important than the other. Plants and animals in the waterways need cool and clear water. Sustainable forestry means not touching the forest around waterways so the trees help keep sediment out while providing crucial shade. For animals out of the water, trees are purposely left for them to use as nests and burrows. And when trees are cut, enough trees are left to keep the forest ecosystem healthy and productive. Now, the stand behind me has been recently treated, and you see that we left a, a good selection of young saplings. And the goal here was to make them grow faster. We removed a lot of low-grade material that had been growing above them, slowing them down, and by removing them, we've generated some money for the landowner, but at the same time, we've let the remaining trees open and free to grow. So how can you help Nature's Factory keep working like clockwork? Find out where the forest products you use every day come from, and choose ones sourced from sustainably managed forests. And when using forest products, consume wisely, because reduce, reuse, recycle means you're keeping more and healthier trees in the forest to clean our water and air to, uh, you know, like, survive. Trees are the lungs of the planet. They can clean our air, it can produce our water, it can give us places to go and recreate, and it can produce products that we find around us every day. The forest works for us in a lot of different ways. Bless you. Nature works hard, and that's why we work hard for nature.